Hi, my name is Colette Tilford. I'm a senior at Quincy Junior Senior High School. My monologue is from The Absolute Brightness of Leonard Pilkey by James Lesesna. Smart to make Ellen way out in the car. She wouldn't have been able to handle it. Well, for starters, the lighting. They say to bleach your vitamin C, not to mention your will to live. And the decor. Let's just say the Soviet Union comes to mind, and not in a good way. Listen, I'm not going in there to view the body. I don't want to remember Leonard like that. I want to remember him the way he was, alive. You didn't know him, did you? Do you know how we met, Leonard and me? Last summer, I was at the local CVS browsing the decongestions when I noticed this kid standing at the end of the aisle staring at me. I'm like, what? Then he walks up to me, points at me and says, 1985. I'm thinking this kid don't look more than 12. So I know I didn't meet him in 85. Then he tells me this theory about how he can always tell a woman's heyday by her hairdo says a woman hits on a moment in her life when everything falls flawlessly into place. Happy ever after, love everlasting, all that. When it fades, as it inevitably must, the hairstyle stays. She repeats it over and over, like forever. And I'm thinking to myself, 1985, Morty was still alive, the kids were at home, the house, the car, we were living the life. Hadn't changed my hairstyle since. Then Leonard, he hands me a card for the salon and says, come by and see us, we'll bring you up to date. That was the thing about Leonard. He saw us, not as we were, but as we hoped to be. It was like a superpower he had. Anyway, I make an appointment, go to the salon. I got my head in the sink. Leonard just giving me a shampoo. He leans in real close, his breath fresh as a tic-tac and says, Mrs. Totcherman, beauty may be in the eye of the beholder, but would it kill you to give him something to behold? Then he holds up my new hair color, raspberry creme by Clairol. I was like a new person, the one I always hoped to be. <clears throat> So, I guess there'll be a funeral, huh? At least I got something to wear. Yeah, about six months ago, Leonard started pestering me. He, he pestered all us girls. Tells us we have to, have to, have to have at least one little black dress in our closet. He tells us it's de rigueur, which I believe is French for have to. Tells us, we need a little black dress for when we get invited to cocktail parties and the like. I pulled him aside and I said, cocktails? Honey, these girls are more of the white wine and Lexapro crowd. And parties? Most of us haven't been invited to a party since Reagan. He's like, who's Reagan? I didn't want to get into it. Then he says to me, Mrs. T, here's how it works. If you had a little black dress, you would get invited to parties. So I bought the dress. Ann Taylor, $129 on sale. The irony of course is, where's the first place I get to wear the dress? Exactly. I'm gonna miss that kid. He was something else. I tried to warn him. I did. I told him, tone it down. The nail polish, the mascara, maybe not so much. He claimed he was just being himself. All right, fine. But do you have to be so much yourself? He told me if he stopped being himself, then the terrorists would win. How do you argue with a kid like that? But that's the thing. 
you can't. Not anymore. He's gone. People are always saying everything happens for a reason. I don't believe it. But I do believe you have to find a reason for everything that happens. God knows with the murder of this boy. And so young. I'm trying to find a reason. But honey, I keep coming up empty handed.